Happy time zone friends. Today is the day we finally tackle the mountain of emails in your Google inbox. We turn it into something a little more organized. There's just five things to do to go from inbox crazy to inbox five or six. I don't really believe in inbox zero because I think that puts a little too much pressure, but you can get there if you want. Google Workspaces actually have a couple really good tools that are gonna help you organize your inbox. And the first thing we're gonna set up are labels. A mistake that a lot of people make here is they go way too many labels. Stay broad with your labels because these are just the starting point of our organization. We're gonna do more. I have a label that is just for stuff about the cat. So if I email myself a scan of her vet records or if I get emails from the vet, it's, it's mostly vet stuff. That all goes in the cat label. The one exception to no specific labels is something that I use at work though. A previous manager taught me this one, make a label for specific projects, like the big December video series. And then anything you get can go in that. I even add zero zero at the front so it goes in the top of the alphabetical list. And then once that project is over, I'll move it into an archive. But all of the labeling stuff right now, it's manual sorting. So now I'm gonna show you how to automate all of this sorting for you. And we're going to use filters to do it. If there's one thing that you take from this video, I want you to set up this filter, is I use it to take regular non-urgent emails like newsletters and put them in their own label and keep them out of the inbox entirely. So let's say this email from Overstock is actually a newsletter that I want to keep getting, but I don't want it to hit my primary inbox. I want it to go sit in this newsletters label until I'm ready to read it. I'll just click into it, go to the more menu item, and then click filter messages like these. So now anytime that this email address emails me, it's going to do what I tell it to. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna worry about this. I'm just gonna go to create filter. So now when a message is an exact match for your search criteria, meaning that email, I'm going to first skip the inbox and then I'm going to click apply label and then click create filter. Labels and filters are great for those emails that you might need to refer to later, but you don't want them top of mind all the time. But what if you do need something top of mind, just not right now? Snooze it. This one is even easier. Right click on the email, click snooze, and then you can choose some pre-selected option or pick the date and time. Let's say I don't want to worry about this until next weekend. I'll click that. The conversation is snoozed and then it'll pop back up when it's time for you to be reminded of what's going on. Tip number four, I think is the best way to make sure that you never lose an email again. And it is the weirdest sounding tip that I have ever got. But once a previous manager told me about this, it made my life so, so much easier. And that is treating email subject lines like you're optimizing for SEO. Yes, it does sound really weird. I get it but this is going to make it so you can search your inbox at any time, find exactly what you need so, so, so much faster. Instead of saying project update, I would title something like update January, 2025 slash project X slash deliverables. Then later, if I need to refer to something that I sent, I can just search the month. I can search the name of the project or if I remember the specific type of email or the thing I'm talking about, I can search that too. Remember, Google is really, really good at the search thing. That's kind of their whole business. So use that to your advantage when you're looking for old projects. And lastly, the key to a peaceful inbox is sometimes knowing when to let it go. My work inbox is so sorted. I keep it at inbox zero or two or three a lot of the time. My personal inbox, as a different story entirely. So don't, don't stress too much, okay? We're trying to build a cozy life here. And if coziness means letting a couple emails simmer in your inbox for a little longer, that's fine. 